back with another tutorial going to be doing glitch lab going to make this graphic you can see here highlighting area of effect feature in glitch lab if you're not familiar with this feature you have to turn it on go up to the top right into settings and area of effect beta is there and it gives you a little warning as it's still in its beta I'm going to start with this photograph I took of a, of a log beside the lake with the sky. I'm going to get some colors going. I'm going to use channel swap. First of all, I'm going to use adjust. I'm going to go to the left go to the area of effect. I'm going to use the bottom half, press soften, now here I'm just going to bookmark it straight away, so that will be one bookmark, and I'm going to use this big netting. shift to add additional colors to the video. I'm gonna do a quick export just to see how it looks so far and here's what it looks like as you can see it's just the bottom half of the image changing color and fading from black to full color like that so now we have our two bookmarks it's going to be the start and the end of our video first effect then I'm going to go to area of effect and select the bottom half again. Here I'm going to press soften two times. Pixelation down to the minus. Thickness is the space between your hexagons to get that to maximum so they disappear. Bookmark here. And then you'll see we get the thickness to zero. That will create a nice fading in effect. I'm going to zoom in and scroll upwards. Because I'm going to make kind of a long video, maybe 30 seconds or a minute, I'm going to scroll up quite a lot. It's a good idea to export a quick version just to see how it looks. Here it is. I'm going to do the second bookmark again just to have some more upward movement. Just check it, see if we're happy, see how it looks, here we go. Yeah, there's a lot more upward movement there. Voila. Now 
for the top half. Go back to your first bookmark. Completely black on the bottom. With the art. Can you use wave flow? our left hand side here area of effect I'm going to use the top half top rectangle you can see on the right hand side here on the bottom we select intensity rather than normal you need to remember how many times you hit soften otherwise the two bookmarks won't be compatible I'm going to change the angle here, 30, minus 30. Use the random seed to find some design that, that we like. Let's remember the positioning here because with the second bookmark we want the wave Flow to move upwards in a similar way than the hexagon. So I'm going to go 38 minus 38 there for the angle, so it looks kind of straight. flow on our first bookmark we go back to our second bookmark We've got to do the same parameters here with your area of effect I'm going to select the top half press soften make sure Intensity is selected rather than normal. You'll notice if you choose normal, it's a different type of blend between the wave flow and whatever else is there. So I'm going to have the random seed move throughout the video. First bookmark had a random seed of. I think it was minus three. So here we can have a minus seven, something like that. I'm gonna have an upward movement. messing around you can do here to find some design that you like. So we have our second bookmark there with wave flow. Do a quick check to make sure it looks like what, what we want it to look like. You can see here wave flow is moving kind of to the right rather than straight up. back to this bookmark, do wave flow again, 
same as before. Pop up. Same angle as before, minus 38, random seed, it was 11, minus 11 or something. Move it upwards and to the left. So that the overall movement is a bit more straight up. To compensate for that angle we put in, minus 38, we're going to have to move it to the left a bit more like that. Just move it around, find a nice finishing point for your video. area of effect in the middle there creates a nice morphing effect and morphs into the other. So that's it. If you upload stuff to YouTube, you want to increase your resolution. The resolution here is a bit unusual because of the original photograph I was using. But uh, you can choose your 720 HD. You can slide up the bit rate along the bottom here. You usually want to get a 32 bit rate. Sorry, you want to get a 32 megabit per second bit rate for your standard HD 720. If you enjoyed this video you can follow me here on my instagram if you want to make any contact you can send me a message ask questions or advice or share any tips or tricks that you may have discovered in this app many thanks all the best good luck